Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to find limits of trigonometric function. Find the limit of sine x as x approaches 0. What you need to do is to find the limit of x as x approaches 0 which give you 0. Then only you calculate sine 0. And this is equal to 0. Please note that you should set your calculator to mode radian. Find the limit of cos x plus 1 as x approaches 0. First, we find the limit of x plus 1 as x approaches 0. This is equal to 0 plus 1 equal to 2. And then, the answer is cos 2. Find the limit of cos 1 over x as x approaches positive infinity. First, find the limit of 1 over x as x approaches positive infinity and it is equal to 0. Cos 0 is equal to 1. Find the limit of sine 3x over x. The limit of sin x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to the limit of x over sin x as x approaches 0 equal to 1. In this case, you have the limit of sin 3x over x. What you need to do is to modify the denominator so that you have 3x because the numerator is sine 3x so you will get 3x and you multiply back you put 3 at the denominator you multiply 3 now you have sine 3x over 3x. The next step is to factor out 3 and you can use the formula. Now, the limit of sine 3x over 3x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. So 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Find the limit of sin 3x minus x cos 3x over x as x approaches 0. We need to separate this into two terms. One is sin 3x over x and the other one is x cos 3x over x. So, you will get the limit of 3 sin 3x over 3x minus cos 3x as x approaches 0. And the best way is to solve this separately. The limit of 3 sin 3x over 3x as x approaches 0 is 3 limit sin 3x over 3x as x approaches 0 and this is equal to 3 times 1 equal to 3. Limit of cos 3x as x approaches 0 is equal to 
because limit of 3x as x approaches 0 the limit of 3x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0 so cos 0 is equal to 1 hence the limit of sin 3x minus x cos 3x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 3 minus 1 equal to 2. Thank you.